How to assign a page to a template in the Divi theme builder. Hi, I'm Sean here from Gallagher Website Design and in this video we're going to go over how to assign a page to a template inside the Divi theme builder. Now you can do the same method for posts or categories or even products if your website is an e-commerce website. So we're going to go over this so it applies to pretty much anything inside of Divi. So in this process, it's going to seem like uh, this might be a, a difficult task or a bunch of different um, steps, but actually there's just a few steps to do this. It's pretty simple, um, and I'm going to walk through that with you in this video. So first of all, I've set up a demo website here for us to kind of walk through this. The first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is log into your WordPress admin area. And I've already done that here in this tab. And uh, you're going to see something similar to this when you log in. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is actually create that page or post or whatever you're wanting to assign to the template. Um, if you've already created it, that's great. You can obviously skip this step. But uh, first thing you're going to want to do, I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new page. And then once this loads up here, we're just going to enter in some basic information. I'm just going to call it test page uh, so it's easy for us to identify and then just click publish. Now, if you're just creating this and you have like I'm doing here, you don't need to add any content or anything yet. I'd actually suggest not to add any content just yet. Um, we want to do that at the end of everything. That way everything's set up and you're kind of editing it in the actual template style that you're going to actually see. So, okay, once I've got this set up, our next step here is to come over here to Divi and then go to theme builder. And now, in case you're not familiar with what this is, this is where all the templates that, that have been set up on your site uh, by someone else, if someone created your site for you, or you, you know, whoever put these together. So you're gonna see here a couple of different blocks, or maybe just one block, uh, just depending on, um, you know, what's been set up in your site. So in this case, we see here this second block here. This is the template in this case I want to use uh, just in this example. There may be other templates that you have that you might want to use here. So you'd find the one that you want and then you're going to want to click on this cog icon and then you want to go what this is going to do is this is actually going to pop up here and you can select uh, which pages or posts, etc., that you want to use this uh, template on. And you'll see here that this tab is selected Use On. So you can come down here and you can select any of these. And you can also specify specific pages, which is what we're going to do in this case. So you put your mouse over that and it's going to pop up here with these pages that are on your website. And if you have a ton of pages, it'll even show you a search bar and you can actually search for that particular page. So in this case, I created that test page. Here it is. When you find your page, click the checkbox next to it. And then all you need to do is click save here at the bottom. And then last step, click save changes. And then once that's finished, you're done. That page has now been assigned to that template. So it's now going to use that template inside of Divi. Now, what, as I mentioned before, I would wait till this very end here to actually make changes or actually put the content on that particular page or post. So now what we want to do is go back to wherever that page or post was. So let's go back to pages here in our case and then find that test page. Here it is. Click on it. And then once that opens up here, um, we want to click on the actual permalink of the page now because we want to open this up so that we can use the visual builder. So in this case, I clicked on that. And then now you can kind of see it's uh, opened up in this template that I created. And that template, just so you kind of know, had a little sidebar here. And then the main content of the page would go here. So what we want to do now is click Enable Visual Builder. And then that's going to load up here. And you might get this option showing up, especially if you just created a new page or post. So here what you do is just click Start Building. And then there you go. Now you're able to go ahead in and put in any content and things that you would need here, just like you'd normally do. And then obviously when you're done, make sure to come down here, click save, and then you'd be all set. That page or post would be created, have the content you want in that template that you're looking for. If you'd like to learn more about how to edit your website and use Divi and WordPress, 
check out a link in the description. I have a link to a course that I put together on how to use Divi and WordPress.